Okay, guys, this is Ali. Now we are going to check and test whether that scenario is really working or not. So let's check out that. So let's go to our vCenter. And here we are on our vCenter right now. And our XP machine is powered up. Check the network setting for our XP machine. So here you will see an edit setting. And if you see the network code, everything is here is in VM network. And you sh uh, I hope you remember that the VM network is with management and it's using the same network here with the same default gateway. So if you go to the uh, management network, it's using 192.168.0.10 network. You can see the NIC teaming and everything is default from the V switch. So uh, let's check out whether how, whether it's our machine is pinging the Google or any other website. Let's log into our XP machine. So my password. All right. We are inside and first of all we will check our connectivity with uh, our ad v center and then we check other 192.168.01 is my active directory but this machine i believe is not joined to domain One thing should be noted that you should power off your firewall because sometimes uh, either you power it off or you define uh, the ports on the firewall. So we check, oh, this machine is not joined to domain, so let's join it to the domain. Please note that this machine is receiving IP from DHCP. All right, and where is my DNS server? My DNS should be 192.168.0.1. Receiving IP from the D from the DCP, which is my Wi-Fi router. So what we do? The internet. Uh, let's change the IP, then join it to our domain. All right. Let's try again. All right, this we are going there because DNS server was not configured there. This is the reason it pop up with an error. So I think it should be fine this time, so we can join it to a domain controller. All right, so already okay. Uh, letter. So let me ping my storage host, which is one nine two one six eight dot zero dot one zero two. So it should be fine. So this the connect. Uh, we already checked the connectivity. It's working, and uh, you can deploy the same scenario at your home for your practice home labs. And let me show you a few thing, few other things. This uh, I have mentioned about the SolarWind software, and here is the the image drive that we created in our previous video so let me attach this to any of the ESA host so attach to an existing so let me connect to this one and finish let's check whether this LAN is going to be available in our ESA host or not another thing I want to mention whenever you 
want to add a SCSI, iSCSI storage here. So you need to add the iSCSI adapter as well. I have already added here. So this will not be gray out. So when you are trying to install your software, after you do installation, add your host, add your devices, everything, then you have to come here on your ESXi host to add the iSCSI software adapter. Then you will be able to add your data stores here. So let me rescan right now. There are only two devices and two parts. So let me rescan. And let's see if it can increase or we can add the data store or the new Now you can see the devices, the devices and the parts are increased. So let's add the storage now. So you have to come here and add a storage and it will be a disk or LAN. Next. It's already here. This is 1 GB. You can see that. Next. Next. And next. And whatever data store you want to give. ABC, whatever you want. Okay, the capacity value must be at least 1.3 GB. Everything is working, but the capacity of the drive, let's increase the drive capacity in order to complete our work. You can also extend the image size here. Yeah, so let's make it uh, 2 GB. Finish. So right now it's showing 1 GB. Let's do a refresh. Now it's 3 GB. Let's check whether it's working there or not. So let's go to our V center now. Okay, still it's like that. Let's cancel this and re -add. So next should be here with 1 GB, still 1 GB. So let's do a rescan all. After rescan, hopefully everything will be okay and we can do the task. All right, it's 3 gig right now. So now we can edit the center name where you want to add this LAN and finish. And that's it. So those are the things. I hope it will help you in building your own home lab so you can practice and can mentor whatever you are reading. Thank you for watching and if you do have any question, please let me know. I will try to reply back. Thank you.